Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone, my name is Fafa Gilbert and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in Dudu by Fafa. So today I present my oven grilled sea bass recipe. Oh my god, the flavors, the flavors. Mm. Simple, very easy to follow, but Charlie, you have to try this recipe. Mm. Healthy. Mm -hmm. I ate it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I did. What did I even have it with? I just ate it. Mire Namano. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start. The story began. <laughs> So it was a stressful day after work and I was like, I need to treat myself. So I went to my fishmongers and I grabbed these fresh sea bass. Oh gosh. Got it home. I was like, there's a shabu shabu cooking. The fishmonger was kind enough to descale the fish and gut it for me. So all I had to do was to take the fins off. You know, because I had to give you guys some sort of theater. <laughs> Now, the reason why I'm taking the fins and the gills and stuff like that off is just because they're not pleasant. But I also like to have that aesthetic look for the fish. Because I'm treating myself, you know. If you don't treat yourself, who else would? You have to learn to do that so that you can tell somebody what they should do for you. So, once I've actually done that, yeah, tail coming off, yeah, one straight line. I know this is ready. Now you will notice that I'm scoring this fish, but I'm slanting it. Reason is I want to infuse it with the flavors. Now if you score it vertically, you know, it won't infuse as much. So this is the best way. I have done a fish recipe and I did it vertically, but now I'm slanting it because my basso, I'm learning. When I do learn a new way of doing things, I most certainly will update you all as I'm doing now. So do try it this way, it works. When I say it works, it works. Look at this beauty. Now you'll understand what I mean. So I have got my holy grail, which is my ginger, onion, and anise seed, which I've blended to beautiful paste. And I've scooped about two tablespoonful and now I'm going to be rubbing this in. So this is just going to be infusing into the fish. Now one thing about fish is you don't want to over marinate it because the flavor of fish is delicate. So just bear that in mind when you add in flavors to it because you only add in the flavors to enhance what's there already. I've got my olive oil drizzling it over and now you can see the magic. So with my hands covered this time, <laughs> you can see me just stuffing it in like it's going in. So you see the flavor is just going to infuse into this fish beautifully. And also when it cooks, it makes it easier for you to just, you know, just take a portion that easy. Look at that. So just rub it in as you can see me do here and do that to all your fish. Mm -hmm. At this point, add your salt to taste and preheat your grill, your oven grill that is, to 180 degrees. This is shabu shabu. When I say shabu shabu, shabu shabu. Simple, but flavor packed. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, just doing that again. One logo, 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 logo line. <laughs> so now that your fish is ready, place it under the grill and grill it for 15 minutes and it'll come out just beautiful. So whilst the fish is grilling, I'm just going to make this beautiful aromatic sauce. So I'm using lemongrass. So once you get your lemongrass, crush it as you can see me do here. And especially the tip is quite hard. So once you crush it, it makes it softer and it would allow you to take the tips off. Now do not discard the tips away because I'd also be taking the outer shell as you can see there because the outer skin actually dries out. But it's equally flavorful. Um, so one can use it for a cup of tea, which we do use a lot in Ghana. We call the fever grass. Yes. 
so now I'm actually chopping my lemongrass so that little part of it the bottom part of it it's nice and soft and flavor packed so finely dice it as you can see here and you have that beautiful consistency I told you this is all about the flavor as you can see I'm enhancing that so now I place my frying pan on a medium heat and I melt in some coconut oil now I have used the cold pressed organic coconut oil because it's flavor packed and it's natural it's just beautiful and I'm adding my beautifully finely diced lemongrass so you see this is the infusion and I've set the heat to its lowest setting because all I want to happen here is the lemongrass infuse its flavor into the coconut oil and the coconut oil is also infused into the lemongrass so you see me and my infusions we go way back so I'm mixing this and frying this gently for about a minute because um, I don't want it to burn I want the flavors to just be So for that residual heat, I'm using some chilies, but the chilies that I'm using are mild. Now, if you do have the hot red chilies, do take the seeds and the membrane out and just use the skin because you just don't want this to be too hot. You want that residual heat coming through and you want the aromatic flavors as well of the chili. So this is important. Um, having it overly spiced just spoils it because the fish is delicate, it's fresh, it's beautiful. At this point, I'm adding my chopped spring onions. I use the green parts. You can use the white parts, not a problem. If you don't have spring onions, just use your normal white onions. That would also work perfectly. But at this point, I could see that the oil is just perfectly hot. I want that coconut taste to still be there. I don't want to burn and I want that residual heat. So at this point, I turn the heat off. I've mixed everything together and you think I'm done. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so now I'm adding the zest of one lemon. So you see, the oils of the lemon is going to infuse into that oil as well. So it refreshes it. Absolutely. And I'll just use the juice of half the lemon as well. So yet again, the oil is still hot. Um, the flavors are just enhanced because, of course, you've got the lemongrass, you've got the coconut oil, you've got the chilies, you've got the spring onions. I've used the zest of the lemon, and now I'm just adding the juice of one. Of course, you know, I've got to take the seeds out. I should have just done it the other way, but hey, it doesn't matter. I took it out. <laughs> so this is like one of those dishes that, you know, it's easy to make. You're back from work or even like for Sunday lunch, you know, an easy thing to make. And yes, add your salt to taste as you do. Um, when it comes to salt, I think it's a personal preference. If you like the salty dish, that's fine. If you don't, you don't. But now I'm adding my beautiful parsley. Now, you can use coriander. Now, the reason why I chose to use parsley is because coriander is so aromatic. And because I've also used the lemongrass, I need that beautiful earthness from the parsley. That just works perfectly with this dish. So to finish my beautiful, would I say sauce? Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, now I'm going to add some chopped tomatoes. Now, the reason I'm adding the tomatoes is it offers moisture and it's just beautiful to actually bite into it. So you've got the grilled fish, you've got the freshness of the sauce and the aromatic flavor, and you've got that beautiful tomato that you could just bite into and the juice it is just beautiful this is such a simple meal but it's flavor packed look how beautiful the tomatoes are so of course chop your tomatoes whichever size you want you can finely dice them or just leave them in chunks as you can see here and mix everything together till it's well combined look at that i mean this you could just you know serve it on toast and you know add some poached egg you're happy you know <laughs> so now i'm just going to take my fish out of the oven it should be ready by now and um here we have our pièce de resistance you see so you know you see where the slanting where they go uh -huh. you see why now look how beautiful this fish is and guess what i'm going to fuse those little corners with my beautiful sauce it's like not any other food <laughs> now this is a type of dish that once you take your fish out of the oven you can get your family or friends or your guest all around your table 
And whilst you're serving, I just give them their forks and let them start eating. Because it's one of those, like, you know, sharing platter sort of a dish. And this is just flavor packed. So, you know, they are, mm, 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 exactly. That's exactly what you're going to be doing. And I hope you are inspired to try this recipe. It's sweet for puppy day. Hey, this is not any other food. This is indeed too, by far, far. Fresh, absolute beautiful, healthy as well. Yes, you keep asking me how like, um, I've lost the weight. Um, it's just because I'm changing my diet, as you can see. So, yeah, yeah, we have it. Enjoy this and try it. I'll leave the transcripts of this recipe, including the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as in dudubaifafa. So do pass by and say hi. Now, until next time, take care of you. Be you, be nice, be beautiful. And guess what? I love you. And thank you very much for your love and support. <laughs>